Hi, Jordan from H2X here. In this video, we're going to run through a domestic heat pump design using H2X. To begin, uh, click the upload floor plan button where you can bring in the PDF floor plan from your files. You can also add new levels in this workspace as well as cropping your drawing and also setting the scale. Next, move over to the plumbing workspace where you can start to design your system. The first thing that you'll need to do is select a heat source. So you can do that using the toolbar at the top. The most important thing here is to set your feed and return temperatures. So on this, we're going with a return temperature of 40 and an outlet of 45. So we've got DT5. You can also enter the dimensions as per the manufacturer's guidelines. Next, we'll need to add our heat emitters. For this project, we've got 12.8 kilowatts of underfloor heating split equally across two manifolds. You need to do your heat loss calculations outside of H2X, and then you can just create your heat emitters, give them a kilowatt rating and a pressure drop. You're also able to set different line types. So if you're used to having uh, different pipe annotations, uh, depending on the level of the pipe, whether it's below floor, low level, high level, or above ceiling, you can set that in the settings. As we begin to draw pipes, you'll see the height of the pipe is displayed in the bottom left of the screen. And we can adjust the height by pressing the down arrow on the keyboard. And as we go below the floor level, you'll see that these pipes are now dashed. Once the pipe works drawn, you can add heat emitters from the toolbar. So I'm going to put on both the underfloor heating manifolds as well as the hot water cylinder. Once the heating system's been drawn out, we can move over to pressure view and start to do our domestic services. Just added the water main connection point and we'll just need to enter the incoming pressure here as well. And next we can go around and stamp fixtures on top of where the architect has shown them. So there's a range of fixtures to choose from. You can rotate them as you drop them in and they'll come with properties such as loading units and minimum and maximum pressures that will affect the calculations. Once the fixtures are in place, we can go ahead and draw pipes to connect them up. We can connect to the fixtures at a high level and, uh, and then drop the pipe back under the floor. Connecting back to the main connection point here and we can connect up the hot water cylinder too and start to draw the hot water feed. You'll also notice that there is a return point connection on the hot water cylinder in case you wanted to do a hot water recirculation system. And I'm just going to go through now and connect up all of the fixtures. Now everything's connected, we can go ahead and press results and this is where the magic happens. Uh, everything is now calculated. So starting with the heat pump, you get your return pump size in. So you get the duty flow rate and pressure loss. And you also get um, the overall uh, heat load on the system. Uh, so that's all of your heat emitters and the heat loss through the pipes. Looking at the pipes, you can see the pipe diameter. So we've got 35 mil pipes coming out of the heat pump. You can also turn on results such as flow rate and velocity. And you can pan around the model and you can see where any pipe sizes change. And you get the same on your domestic system. So all of your pipes are sized. You'll also get um, pressure results and dead leg results at your fixtures. Once you've reviewed everything in H2X, 
you can then move over to the export screen where you can download a PDF drawing set uh, that looks a little bit like this. And you also get a bill of materials which is great for estimating and material orders. Thank you very much for watching.